Hi, welcome back to Educator.com. Today's music theory lesson will be finding the notes D, E, F, G, A, B on the keyboard. So our lesson objectives today. We're going to begin with an explanation of the, how the, the notes D, E, F, G, A, B look and sound in treble clef, and the same thing for bass clef. Um, we'll talk about whole steps and half steps in white keys. We'll touch on black keys a little bit, but we're going to focus on white keys. There will be a whole other chapter devoted to black keys later. So let's find our treble clef C, D, E, F, G, A, B notes on our picture of the keyboard. We have already established that we are going to look for our set of three white keys to find C. We also talked about in our previous lesson how to find middle C. For now, we're going to focus on just every C. So I've marked out three white key sets surrounding two sets of black keys. This is how we find our C. As you remember from the alphabet, D comes after C. So the note D, we will write on each white key right after C. D also, a way to find D really quickly is to look for the two black keys. D is right in the middle of the two black keys. Finding E, E comes after D. Let's write our E. Okay. F is at the beginning of our set of four white keys surrounding three black keys. So F can be very quickly located if you if you want a shortcut. Just look for the set of three black keys and F is to the left of the three black keys. G and A are in the middle of this set of four. So they're a little more difficult to locate quickly if you need to find a G or an A very quickly. Most of the time people who need to find notes quickly are piano players and you may be a piano player already. But if you're not, it's okay. We are learning very detailed lessons about the piano and the keyboard so that you can feel confident using the keyboard to further study your music theory. So we've labeled every C, D, E, F, G, A, B on our picture of the keyboard. And let's move on to our bass clef C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Now the only difference between treble clef notes and bass clef notes is that treble clef notes are a little higher and the bass clef notes sound a little lower. So Treble clef notes will start at middle C. The treble clef begins at middle C and goes, the notes go up. So here's our C in treble clef. D, E, F, G, A, B, C. That's what they look like. As you remember, we find our C by the two black keys. Here's our C. D is above C. E is above D. Now here's our set of four black keys. The F is the note that's the farthest to the left. G follows F, A follows G, B follows A, and going back to C. So those three white keys are also a good way to find where F and B are in a hurry. And the two black keys are a really good way to find out where C and E are in a hurry. D and G and A are in the middle of these sets of black keys. Now bass clef, while we're playing notes, let's play some bass clef notes. Bass clef also begins at middle C and then descends from there. Here's our B, we'll go backwards. Excuse me, our C, and we'll play B, A, G, F, E, D, C. These notes are in exactly the same place, they're just lower. Let's start from the lower one. So let's minimize our keyboard and go back to the drawing of the keyboard where we can practice writing our notes out again. Let's find them. C's are around the two sets of black keys, the set of two black keys. So here's our set of three white keys. Here's two black keys, two black keys. C, 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 C. So as you remember, D follows C and it's between the two black keys, E, F, G, A, B. The only difference between finding these notes in treble and bass clef is the tone. The tone of the bass clef notes are lower 
the tone of the treble clef notes are higher. <laughs> 